Some members of the public are calling on the relevant authorities to ensure the clearing of debris at the fire-torn Ajudha building. A great blaze devoured the historic building, which was synonymous with the skyline of the William Peter Boulevard on November 21, 2019. A number of people are without jobs as businesses housed in the building were consumed by the flames. Although authorities initially cordoned off the building, there are concerns over public safety with charred remnants of the structure dangling over the sidewalk below. Cindy Alcindor is a street vendor who plies her trade near the William Peter Boulevard. At this time of the year or from the time of the fire, it's going to be approximately four weeks if I can remember since the fire. As anything else, we have the fire service who have to do their jobs and other officials who have to go through and do their jobs in terms of the um, the, the remaining structure. However, in terms of human safety, we have to take this into consideration because sitting out here doing our daily hustle, of course, since the fire, we moved across on this side of the road. And on a daily basis, I mean, it's amazing to see the number of debris that falls off on a daily basis right there on the sidewalk and as anything else we have to take into consideration safety. Alcindor argues that the authorities and the private sector should take heed of the law of insurance and public liability. The overhanging, galvanized, the pieces of wood, the concrete, personally something should have been done about this and right now we are experiencing the gusty winds this should have been taken care of not till it really hits home then someone would run and say you know what it's time for us to do this we don't have to wait until something happens for us to take action when we have to consider safety number one people are passing by and even the the very air that we breathe is not safe for us being right there in the heart of town i think it is high time that they do something in terms of clearing up the pieces of galvanize and making this place a little more safe especially around this time of the year where the city is going to be a lot busier the next few days which is the Christmas season. The concerned citizen admits she is no expert but suggests that the property owners shutter the building given the hazard posed to passers-by. In the meantime um, I believe that they should maybe board off the area not just put the yellow tape. Yellow tape is just caution yeah caution you may be proceeding cautiously and boom, before you know it, something just flies off and hits you. But they should board off the area, I mean, make it even safer than it is. Because just last week, there was a cruise ship and there were tourists, imagine tourists were right under this thing passing, a group of them just looking curiously into the building to see what's, what's, what's there and what's happening there and so on. But really and truly, they should maybe just board off the area you know like when there is construction going on they board off the area they should just board off the entire area and in the meantime to remove the galvanize and so on that is hanging over because when it is windy trust me the wind actually lifts the the roof and you could see stuff falling down from the building which is really really scary and also dangerous the fire department is urging the property owners to address the issue of overhanging debris urgently any such situation will pose a hazard, even to um, persons accessing the city or, or even going through there. And um, I think there are persons who still, like the GPs, they still use that space there. That is a, a hazard, and you have persons coming to them to access their services. That's a hazard to them as well. So um, what we can do is to appeal to the property owners to do their utmost in addressing that situation as swiftly as possible because as I understood that the property is now in their hands um, to do as they will with it. So um, as soon as possible we would like to see that um, they take the kind of action necessary to um, uh, address that situation. It is not clear if the building is earmarked for demolition. Looters and scavengers have been seen rummaging through the debris in the dead of night, searching for something of value in the aftermath of the fire. Members of the public are urged to desist from the unsafe practice given a number of health risks including chemical exposure and injury due to falling debris. This is Andy Boval-Jones, HTS News Force.